Holy nostalgia rush, Batman. I mean, what is a caped crusader without a trusty sidekick? Holy kilowatts, of course! Bruce Wayne and 14 million viewers enjoyed the best adaptation of Robin thanks to Burt Ward and his excellent performance in the 1960s Batman. But did you know Ward was pretty heroic in his personal life too, but also a heartbreaker in romance? What vital role did he play in starting Bruce Lee's career? What has yellow skin and rights? A ballpoint banana. Right. I'm your host, Nostalgic Nick, here with my utility belt of facts about the boy wonder himself, including the truth behind his supposed friendship with Adam West. If you enjoy our video, please give it a big bat thumbs up. Holy bouncing boilerplated fits! and subscribe to the channel so you catch all our nostalgic deep dives. But without further ado, let's get to the Bat Facts. How old was Burt Ward while filming Batman? The young Burt was only 19 years old when he auditioned for the part of Robin, but even in his relative youth, he had some interesting experiences that made him very worthy of a contender for the part. You see, his dad owned a traveling ice show called Rhapsody on Ice, and when Bert was just two years old, the young boy was listed as a professional ice skater. He also had his own superhero name, Sparky, since his skates made a shower of sparks. It's also good to know the character, and boy did Bert know his stuff. The guy was an avid comic book reader, though his original hero of choice was Superman. But you know, you can't blame him. He could have been a sidekick to Clark Kent with all the sports Burt did, like track and wrestling, along with Taekwondo. Yeah. All right. That's a shoulder throw. When it was time to audition, there was steep competition. Let it be known, everything happens for a reason. While he studied acting, Burt also did real estate work. When one client was a producer who hooked him up with an agent. A pessimistic one, actually, who told him don't expect much. And wouldn't you know it, the very first gig he got connected with was Batman. But Burt was just told it's, quote, something over at 20th Century Fox. Well, Burt Ward jumped at the chance to meet the mysterious executive producer, who warned Burt he looked a bit big for the part. Burt promised he was done growing and got a big laugh out of that. But he still didn't know what he was getting into until weeks later, when he got a script titled Bruce and Dick and instructions to memorize his lines, which he then of course forgot when they told him he had to slide down a balcony. But that's okay because he gave them a martial arts demonstration that knocked their socks off. Holy precision. Finally, they gave him his costume, which became a very sweaty costume since the dyes choked off any airflow. So you can imagine what a sauna that was. But when Burt Ward tested opposite a costumed and incidentally totally anonymous Adam West, the young boy wonder won the part. They both did actually, Adam West against Lyle Wagoner of Wonder Woman fame. How much did Burt Ward make from Batman? Batman may have been the title character, but Robin did plenty of heavy lifting. And Bert's specific martial arts abilities made him such a great addition to the show. Glad you're up in your foreign languages, Robin. They come in handy when fighting crime. CC Batman. A lot of Robin's face showed, so a stunt double was not easy. On top of that, their designated stunt double was paid per stunt, so more often than not, Ward's stunt man would be off to the side having coffee with Adam West. So the producers counted on Bert Ward doing whatever they asked of him. Very often, in fact, he was at his personal risk. All of this due to penny pinching, since Burt learned he was getting paid the bare minimum wage required by the Screen Actors Guild. That amounted to a whopping 350 bucks per episode. 120 episodes, Batman netted Ward 42 grand. So honestly, was it worth it? Ward might have been able to claw his way through a few more episodes, but the show ran out of fuel. Burt cites production costs as a big factor in his untimely end with Bruce. Holy cliche. Does he expect us to fall for that? 
but the show stuck around long enough to cause the monsters to end prematurely, since its cliffhanger formula made more people want to tune in to Gotham each week instead of Mockingbird Lane. Were Adam West and Burt Ward friends? Cast members are a bit like a family. You can't pick them, you just have to deal with the ones you get. And that sums up the relationship between the series leads. They were great castmates and they were family for better or worse. Looking back at the Batman series, Burt would use words like adore to describe what he felt for Adam. Even saying, quote, I had the greatest time of my life. Oh my God, we had the best times together. Dinners, lunches, just sitting around. We could talk about any subject. But in classic sibling fashion, Burt also said Adam, quote, absolutely drove me crazy, upstaging me. Uh-oh, the brothers are fighting for mom and dad's attention. And that was a big problem for them. Adam would sometimes block Bert from camera. His slow deadpan diction was also for attention. As he said, quote, if I speak twice as slowly as I'm supposed to, the camera will be forced to stay on me twice as long. Holy taxation. You're right again, Batman. But just like brothers, they stayed friends to the very end. For 50 years, even right to Adam's death in 2017. And in his tribute, Burt called him the one real Batman. Is Burt Ward a black belt? Sometimes your hobbies can make your careers. Burt Ward landed the role of Robin by breaking a one inch pine board with his bare hand. The guy mastered Taekwondo and he earned a black belt from an all Korean champion winner. This athleticism then saw Ward meet, befriend and spar with none other than Bruce Lee, who just happened to be his neighbor. The two practiced together several days. Sometimes they even grabbed dinner. Holy mashed potatoes. Bert says that Lee's Hong Kong upbringing helped him find the best locations for good eats. Is anyone else hungry all of a sudden for a knuckle sandwich? According to Bert Ward, he was there for a very formative time in Lee's career. You see, Lee appeared in Batman as Kato from the Green Hornet and the first ever filmed fight scene of Lee's career was him as Kato fighting Robin. There were rumors that Lee threatened to outright beat Ward up while they filmed, but it was more that Lee didn't like that Kato lost the fight because of course he's Bruce Lee, not a hobbyist. Burt Ward knew Bruce Lee well enough to call him a terrific guy with a great sense of humor. Who is Burt Ward married to? The Boy Wonder, more like a ladies man and real heartbreaker. Bert has had four wives. First was the daughter of a music conductor, Bonnie Lindsay, whose father worked with Judy Garland, Merv Griffin, and Barbara Streisand. They stayed together long enough to have one daughter. Then for two years, there was Kathy Kirsch, who had a guest role as a Batman villain. Holy happenstance. Next, he was married for four years to a model before finally tying the knot for good with former actress and current animal rights activist, Tracy Posner. They had a girl of their own together in 1991 and are still together today. Of course, even this handful of divorces is nothing compared to the steamy sex life of Burt's co-star, Adam West. How old are Burt Ward's dogs? Despite some battles for the spotlight, Burt Ward and Adam West, the two were thick as thieves attending fan events, conventions, and other Batman-related events. Even decades after the show, just three years before West died, the two attended Fan Expo Canada together. But Ward embraced his identity as Robin in a totally different but equally real way by championing those who needed a voice. In 1994, Burt created the group Gentle Giants Rescue, dedicated to rescuing and homing large dog breeds. All of this after Burt Ward and his wife rescued a Great Dane in distress. They learned about countless dogs in need of homes, because if they didn't find a home, they were put to sleep. Gentle Giants is not limited to the biggest of the bunch, and now it's recognized as the largest giant breed dog rescue group in the world. Of course, Bert and his wife, Tracy, live by example and have dogs of their own. Their oldest one, Tara and Sugar, ages 24 and 27 respectively. Boy, wonder I'd say those canines are in good hands. 
It takes a whole lot to play a hero, first on the page, then on the screen, now in our dreams even. Even on a campy show like the original Batman, it took something special to really risk your life for a paycheck that's not exactly huge. But Burt Ward managed to do that in a pretty admirable fashion. All right, enough of me, now it's your turn. We want to know, who was your favorite villain in the Caped Crusader series? Which out of the 352 holy comments was your favorite? Holy uncanny photographic mental processes! Do you think Adam West and Burt Ward are the best Batman and Robin combo ever? Well, get in the comments and tell me your thoughts. All right, the bat signal's in the sky and I gotta go. If you enjoyed our deep dive, please hit the thumbs up icon and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And from all of us here at Do You Remember, we want to thank you for watching.